right, coaches, looking for a good series of plays to run that are really easy to put in? Stay tuned. All right, coaches, welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group channel. This is Coach Coltharp out of North Carolina again, coming back to you uh, after a big weekend of uh, air raid football. Uh, really excited for Coach Cliff Kingsbury and, 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 you know, those air raid guys at the NFL level who did what people didn't think they could do. I mean, they didn't win, but they didn't lose. And they came down back from 18 points down. And, and it just shows, you know, when you're running the air raid, you're never out of the game. And, um, you know, our channel has been built upon the air raid. It'll always be built upon the air raid. I mean, it's not the only thing in the world to us, but we just really love the process and the, and the, um, and the way it works. And if you like these kind of videos and you'd like to see more content, I'd love if you to subscribe and then click that little bell down there so you know when we go live. We're trying to go live two or three times a week right now. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a stress, stressful time because of, you know, people being in season and things like that and some other stuff that we've got going on. But we're really trying to make sure that we can do that. So I thought today what we would talk about is a, um, a little bit of a series of, of uh, jet motion that uh, you, if you watched the Arizona Cardinal game, you saw a lot of it in, um, in, in what Coach Kingsbury was trying to do. And, and so there's kind of four plays in this, in this series I mean, it just basically starts off with our basic jet package, which, you know, we're not going to do anything uber fancy out of it. You know, we're going to, um, you know, we're going to lead block seal here and come and toss it and try to get the alley with that and just block outside zone, you know, with the jet. And you can also, you know, come back with Z and go this way. You just put R on the other side. So that's kind of our jet package. And if you've seen any of our stuff, you know, we've talked about jet in the past. And then, of course, we'll fake that jet and then run our inside zone and our counter off of that. But what I wanted to talk about um, was, was the, the next two plays, which is really our stick and our post wheel off of that. Um, if, you, if you follow Coach Piscopo on, um, on Twitter, he posted a, uh, a picture today of, um, of Georgia running 618 post wheel. And... Um, you know, Drew Drew does a really good job of, of watching film and, and, and getting things. And if you haven't seen any of his stuff, if you follow him on Twitter, he posts his weekly highlights. And I, I tell you, I don't know too many people that run mesh in high school better than Drew does. Um, but he posted this, and then I had a, a, a coach tweet me and ask me about progression. And and so, you know, what, I, what it got me thinking of is how can you do this without just going trips? And obviously, Georgia ran it out of trips, so they went early and ran it this way, but I like to run it out of motion and, and kind of freeze the defense, come back across here, motion, let him run the arrow, and then run stick this way. And you're still going to do the same progression. And, and, and this was the question, you know, Coach, what's the progression on 618 post wheel? And, and here's my thing on that. I told you guys before, I feel like if, the progr if a tag changes a progression, then it's not a tag, it's a concept. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I'd love to have a discourse, uh, you know, about it with some people. Somebody, change, you know, it's like that old change my mind sign. Um, but I just feel like I shouldn't have to change my progression if I tag something because then it defeats to me the purpose of, of rep-driven football that, that, that the air rate is. And so what we look at is we run the stick this way, and obviously we'll put the joker back there. But then when we run post-wheel, we're gonna do this deal and, and come with the wheel off of that. So we'll snap it, he'll wheel it out, and then the progression is still the same. It's peak, uh, shoot, stick. You know, we always talk about that. You know, I'm one of those guys, I like to read the swing before I come back to the stick. Swing, stick, because I really want the stick and I feel like this widens those guys out. And so, because you're coming in motion and you've run jet sweep a couple times, now, you're looking at this safety. Is this safety jumping down and hitting the stick in the mouth? Is he getting nosy on the jet? Okay, if he's doing that, that's when you want to check to that post right there and have him coming over top. And so now you're telling your quarterback, okay, if he runs that alley hard, this grass right here should be wide open. Okay, but what if they get, they get cute, you know, and they run some kind of invert and the corner goes here? Well, now you have your wheel. And so he's gonna take his he's gonna take his one big, boom, he's poking, looking at that safety as he's here, then he's here, then he's back down to the stick. So it's one, two, 
three. It's a great play, post uh, 618 post wheel. I mean, it's the same read, the same progression. Um, when, you, when you couple that with your jet sweep, or you know, and your counter coming back off the jet sweep, we've been seeing a lot of that. And um, you know, Oklahoma's doing a great job running the football like that. Uh, North Carolina's got some good stuff going on up there with their air raid offense and Coach Phil Longo. And um, I tell you, this this is getting it's getting to be a lot of fun watching this because you can watch it every day of the week. Now you can watch it on on Friday nights, you can watch it on Saturday nights, you can watch it on Sunday evenings now. And you know the air raid is just growing, and I'm really really excited to be a part of it. Um, just want to make sure everybody knows the Air Raid Nation has been scheduled for the weekend of the 8th and the 9th of May. Um, we're going to do it in North Carolina right as of right now. Um, Coach Mummy is, is, is confirmed to be there. He's going to headline and speak at least twice. Um, I've already talked to a couple other college guys and some, some really good high school guys about coming in. I want it to be a really great time and uh, going to try to do it upright and try to keep the cost down as low as we can so everybody can come and enjoy and fellowship and build the community. Hey, listen, if you haven't had a chance to get your, um, your subscription, uh, it's, not, it's not too late. We have about 18 or 19 of the... Um, of the 50% off coupons left for the month of September. If you haven't gotten that, get your lifetime membership to the Air Raid system for 50 bucks. You know, we, we've added probably 30 hours of video so far um, this season. Every Wednesday we're adding new content and things like that. And we're gonna do some special membership only videos about some different things on there. Um, so, you know, if, you're, if you've been taking a part of that, that's really cool. Also, if you'd like to do a video and you, ha and you have an idea, hit me up. You can share it to me at spinitthewind.com at gmail.com in, in the drive or if you've got some highlights that you want to share with people or a couple of plays that you're running or something that's working out that you'd like to share with people um, let me know we'll get it up on the site for you and you know as, as always if I can help you with anything hit me up on Twitter at Coach Colthart um, we had a kind of rough week got a new puppy he kind of got a hold of me a little bit and we were, we were rough housing and uh, I feel like I went to the wing tee convention and yelled spin it to win but hey it is what it is because that's all we do spin it to win